Giga Bowser encountered in Smash Ultimate online matches, crazy stuff, and also Vergamin talks. Block content. I love Hot Hop. This video is for good boys and girls. What's happening, my block buddies, and welcome to a brand new episode of Block Contents League Speak. My name is Callum, and this is going to be your content for today. And yes, it is pretty funny this stuff that we're talking about today because someone has spotted, and a lot of other people have spotted, Giga Bowser as a playable fighter in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate online. Of course, a lot of people know that modding is very possible, but this crossing over to the online territory, although it's been happening for quite some time, I just had a big laugh seeing this, so share some information about that and also Vergaben who of course leaks a lot of Nintendo Super Smash Bros. Ultimate stuff now knows who Fighter 5 isn't and there's two companies that he names that are definitely not where the fifth character comes from so I wanted to dive into it together with you guys and of course we have this brand new beautiful show called Question Blocked where I answer your questions on upcoming Smash Fighters my thoughts on maybe your favorite game or questions about how to start and make videos on YouTube anything you can think of please send your beautiful questions through to block content mail at gmail.com. I've received so many great ones already and I'm making videos in advance, so I'll answer your questions live on the show in our next episode. And for those of you guys who like giveaways, we are giving away this Piranha Plant plushie, the Puppet Boy, and of course, a beautiful What's Happening My Block Buddies t-shirt, which I'm surely gonna get one of myself. So please remember to press thumbs up, like this video, very important, and subscribe to Block Content. Comment down below why you should have one of these items for the giveaway. All right, guys, let's head right on into the news of this week. And I first wanted to start off with that Vergaben news because I think that that is really interesting and very exciting. So everyone on Discord, on the Block Content Discord, the link is in the description. You guys sent this over to me because this is actually pretty big news, right? Vergaben, every time that he basically comments anything, then we know that there is some Smash Brothers news because it basically means, yeah, either a character gets deconfirmed, confirmed, or we get some sort of hint about this, right? Well, it turns out that he's talking about two Two companies that Fighter 5 is not from. And he's saying, yep, Fighter 5 isn't from Ubisoft or Valcom, because a lot of people were kind of discussing what's possible in there, and he just straight up posted that, you know, and I think it's pretty funny, they kind of know their power, right? They know that every single word that they say, fans are going to hold on to, so yeah, immediately people are saying, so no no Assassin's Creed character, no Splinter Cell character, no Prince of Persia character, Far Cry Eyes, stuff like that, so yes, a lot of people don't know Falcom, and it is basically this old Japanese video game company, they make role-playing video games, the Eyes series, the Legend of Heroes stuff, and yeah, that they are still at it today. They're still making video games. But yeah, the wide audience in the West really doesn't know who this is. But there are definitely characters in there that people would have loved to see in Super Smash Bros. I mean, Ice characters, The Legend of Heroes have a couple of games. And yeah, they mostly didn't really cross over with the Nintendo Switch just up until very recently with Ice Lacrimosa of Dana. So that to me is interesting. There's always a possibility there. And of course, Sakurai loves his JRPGs and characters within that. That, you know, just the evidence of characters like Shulk being in there and now Dragon Quest. I mean, that is a huge deal for the, you know, the Japanese audience and also, I think, to kind of broaden the appeal of Smash Brothers for audience that don't know about characters. But Ubisoft, to me, is a much bigger deal here because of the wealth of characters and the history with Nintendo, right? We know from, you know, experience, they've worked together with Nintendo very well in the past. There have been Ubisoft characters already in Spirit Boards and, you know, at different places in the game. So to, to see stuff like Rayman, of course, the Rabbits characters from the very popular Rabbits Mushroom Kingdom Battle series, yeah, I think that that is a really big deal because that partnership with Nintendo has never been stronger than that. So I could have definitely seen not Rayman in the game, but sort of like Rabbit Peach or characters like that. So I'm very, yeah, very interested to see if that will happen in the Fighters Pass at all. But now we at least know that characters like Sam Fisher from Splinter Cell, which a lot of people would have loved to see face off with Snake. I mean, that's basically the two big stealth legends, right? Splinter Cell, Metal Gear, so Snake versus Sam would have been a really great battle to see. And also, of course, a character like Ezio or other assassins from that franchise, Altair, the first one that started it off. I think it's very interesting to think about the fact that we might be getting those characters, but they are definitely not Fighter Five if Vergaben is to be believed. Yes, people are dropping like flies the past couple of weeks because people really know which character it isn't instead of which 
character it is. Now, talking about the prince, Prince of Persia, yes, I know the character has a lot of different looks and a lot of different eras. I certainly loved the Sands of Time game, and I think that that character would have fit in like Super Smash Bros. Brawl or Melee or something like that, because that was really prolific for that time. And to have some sort of move that slows down time, you know, a little bit like Bayonetta, but not like a counter or something like that, I think that there's a really great way that you can make the prince work in a fighting game, right? That would have been really amazing to see and a very interesting couple of slashing combos, right? Different sort of weapons that characters don't really have in Smash Brothers. So yes, they won't be Fighter Five. So that begs the question, there are so many characters that are not going to be the fighter, that what is left? Well, a lot of people have been pointing towards Lloyd Irving, and of course we talked about that in our video of yesterday. Yes, Tales of Symphonia is still on the board right now. No one has said, yeah, it's, it's probably not gonna be Lloyd. And of course we heard about Dante from the Devil May Cry series, you know, <laughs> cut to the sticker. But uh, yes, it seems like that is not happening also. So yes, not a lot of characters left, and I don't think that Sakurai is going to, you know, a fast one on us and make that character a first party fighter. So someone like a Zelda character or a Pokemon or a Mario character, I don't think that that's going to happen for this fighter's pass. I have almost no doubt in my mind that the extra characters that we're going to be getting after and we might get a reveal at the Game Awards is going to be first party. I mean, it just makes too much sense for Nintendo to not only, you know, grab the wealth of third party characters there and get new partnerships, but also show them, yes, we are the video game giant that you guys know. We have our very own original characters and you guys love them and we are going to be putting them in Smash Brothers. So yeah, thinking about what that could be, that's a whole conversation for another time. But in terms of video game companies, yeah, I talked about Capcom and a Capcom rep has not yet been deconfirmed yet. So we talked a little bit about Phoenix Wright and how cool that kind of a move set would be and how crazy it would be to have that character in Smash. Aside from it already being in different crossovers, right? A Smash move set would certainly be very different for that character, but also characters from Resident and evil who seemingly have now all been deconfirmed because of that spirit board which is going up I think tomorrow or something like that so yes Capcom characters doesn't seem very likely too there's monster hunter still on the board we have Arathalos in the game so all of that is extremely interesting and I just want to know what is the company what is that fifth character because we are getting surprisingly close to the game awards and if the character doesn't show up there then I'm going to be really nervous right then they kind of know that oh we might need to tool on something or maybe even get delayed. People have been talking about that as well. So yeah, to me, a very interesting fact here that we know that the characters are not from Falcom, that the fifth character is not from Ubisoft. And that's something that I've actually kind of wanted to know about, you know, is there a Ubisoft character coming? So that isn't really an answer to the question, but it is a little bit more information. So every day we get closer to the truth. Now I get this from at Cat Goomba on Twitter. So go check that out. It's Hildefan69 Cat Goomba. And post based basically pictures of Giga Bowser in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and not just modded into Smash Ultimate, but someone who hasn't modded the game in any type of way just came across Giga Bowser in an online match. Yes, just a normal day of Smash Ultimate when suddenly effing Giga Bowser online. Excuse me, what the actual F is this, right? So very interesting. We see these screenshots where yes, Giga Bowser is in that lobby, quickly made a screenshot. Giga Bowser is in the title title card screen and also is in regular gameplay. Now they go on to say in that Twitter thread that yes, they did play around a little bit, but yes, people are getting their consoles modded and then promptly banned by Nintendo because you're, yeah, modding your console, going online with that kind of stuff. And that can really distort people's view of the game, right? Wait, can I, can I unlock Giga Bowser in the game? So yeah, Hildefend does say, yeah, the Giga Bowser actually lost in that game and everyone just KO'd themselves, right? Very interesting stuff here that people have been reporting. Yeah, I saw this as well. People posting video proof of that happening before. So ever since the launch of Smash Brothers Ultimate, people have been tooling at the game a little bit. And we've seen a little bit of evidence with that me costume leak and people trying to recreate that thing. So it is definitely possible. But to see Giga Bowser online got a really big laugh out of me. I really want that character to be playable in some sort of form. Although people are saying the character is super slow, not that powerful. So if you play as that character, you very, very likely won't be winning. <laughs> so I just want to know which one of you guys out there really wants to play as Giga Bowser in Smash Brothers Ultimate. Do you guys like want to mod the game for it or do you hope that it comes like in a patch or something like that as some sort of little aside? Do you want to play
play as boss characters in a separate mode that Nintendo will launch, well, I certainly would like the ability to play as bosses because just think about the fact that you can play as marks or something like that. I think that that'll be a really interesting mode, right? Human player versus another human player that's just a regular character and you have so many different powers or maybe even like four human players against one boss character that's just overpowered. It almost be kind of like a Mario Party mini game. So all of that, extremely interesting to me. So let me know down below if you want to play as Giga Bowser. I'd love to hear what you guys think of this. And if you actually comment down below, that little comment could be featured in our next video and read out loud. So today's comment question is, which company do you think the final character in Smash Ultimate will be? So let me know. And of course, I mean the fifth fighter in this fighter's pass, because there's going to be more. So as for our previous comment question, our answer comes to us by way of Alexander Gagne saying, I definitely thought that the announcement of a Resident Evil spirit board was far too convenient and seemingly random during this downtime before the next Smash fighter was announced. While I'm still skeptical about a Resident Evil character being a fighter, nearly as much as Doom or Mortal Kombat having a character, I definitely think that another Capcom fighter is highly likely. Dante is my top pick currently, with the Devil May Cry on the Switch announcement literally a day or two ago, plus Sabi's rumoring. But I can't deny somebody like Phoenix would also be amazing. And of course, this ties in very well into our recent discussion. So thank you so much, Alexander. I do really agree. I think a Capcom character is highly likely. I don't think that it's definitely going to happen. There's no way of knowing, really. But Capcom has, like I said, so many characters are already appeared in these crossover games and they are ripe for appearances in Smash, right? And I definitely could see, you know, maybe characters that we are already represented in Smash in some different ways. I would love to see Mega Man X or a character like Zero who's already an assist fighter. There's so many great choices and also Phoenix, right? The idea that you could have the hammer slam down in a final Smash or something like that. I could really see any of that happening. So yes, Capcom, just give us a little bit more Smash love because that Resident Evil Spirit Board just makes us want a lot more and a lot more. So thank you guys so much for sending in your cute comments down below. They're always a ton of fun to read through and I read through them all on my daily bike rides. And of course, a huge shout out to our latest Patreon supporters. You guys make blocked content absolutely possible. So if you want to have yourself created as a little block content guy, a little character, or join me for a Skype discussion, maybe, you know, jump on Skype, have a chat with me, or have your own video ideas become actual videos in this channel, go to patreon.com slash block content because there are so many great rewards there they're waiting just for you. And remember, if you're not yet a member of the block content family yet, just pull up a chair, hit the subscribe button right now and ring the bell for notifications and all the news and fun you care about will be delivered on the daily to you. We're nearing 40,000 subscribers, which is something that I never thought that I would be able to say. And it's been a real treat to be able to daily provide you guys with Super Smash Brothers content, with Nintendo content, and and yeah, to tell you the truth, there are some changes coming for 2020 and they have nothing to do with the COPPA stuff. That's something that's on the background right now and I really want to watch. But also, we're working really hard to make new kinds of content, right? I'm working on getting a different sort of format. I'm working on getting more league speak and having it in a different kind of format, but also new animated stuff because I know there's a lot of you guys that subscribe for animated content. And yes, even though it takes a very long time to make that kind of stuff, to plot it out, to write it, and and these videos are more impromptu when there's news coming out. I make videos about it because that just, you know, energizes me. Um, yeah, I think the animated content really has its place on blocked content because basically that's where it started, right? So yeah, I want to give that to you guys and that's going to happen. It is actually in the works right now. There are scripts being written. There are partnerships being forced. So thank you guys so much. And for those of you guys watching, I'll see you guys around the corner where there's always more blocked content. See ya.